Two people are dead after a robbery in Neshoba County. It happened at the Sefco gas station along Highway 16. Jeremy Apperson was a customer in the store when he and the cashier Megan Statz were killed at 5.30 in the afternoon. WJTV 12's Shay O'Connor was in Neshoba County today and has more on the tragedy that residents say will impact their community forever. I can tell you, Ray, I mean, things like this usually never happen around here, seeing that it's such a small, peaceful community. I mean, uh, it's devastating. Two families are mourning the loss of a beloved father and husband and a convenience store clerk. Both shot and killed in a robbery at the Sefco station in Neshoba County. The suspect, Robert Leon Jackson, was out on early release from prison following a 2012 attempted armed robbery conviction. The owner of the gas station next door says Jackson was apprehended by officials after traveling to his shell station and robbing another customer. The gun is in his hand and his bag in his other hand. He walked like this. He came to us, to here. He stopped in bump three. He robbed the guys in bump three. The guy he came to run away. He told me, just call 911. Jackson again took off on foot. Police later arrested him farther down Highway 16. And Mayor James Young saying shootings like this one just don't happen in Philadelphia, Mississippi. He is hoping someone will come forward with more information about Jackson, including how Jackson got to the convenience store. Young says the community will hurt for a long time following this random act of violence. Uh, the answers, we don't know where they are. Um, you know, they talk about gun control, but uh, this gun walked into town and this person don't know what was in his mind, but he left a very big scar on our community. Shay O'Connor, WJTV 12. Victim Jeremy Apperson was able to shoot Robert Leon Jackson before being killed. Jackson is being treated for that gunshot wound. He will remain in the custody of police after he's released from the hospital.